Hey guys! So these characters got up earlier than I did today and they'd already been working for about two hours by the time I got out there and set up a camera for you. So when they'd started in the morning all they had was a concrete slab. So after two hours of working this is what it looked like. So I thought you guys might be interested to see how much work the average uh, builder can get done in a day in Japan. Sort of a bit famous for this, aren't they? Now on the Buying a House in Japan playlist, we already do have a video uh, showing the steps to building a house in Japan, modern house in Japan from the, from the very beginning to the very end. So I'm not going to be doing that in this video. We'll just show you just how much got how much work got done in a about eight hours they were working, a little bit over eight hours. So I wasn't quite sure how to, how much to cut this video down. Uh, I thought about cutting it down to three or four minutes because lots of people complain if the videos are too long. But we also have other people who say that they like long videos. So what we eventually decided to do was to run this video at 18 minutes or whatever it is and those people who like to watch the whole thing can watch the whole thing and those people who are a little bit less patient perhaps or busy people with not enough time uh, can use the uh, YouTube function there the feature there to just jump down the video if they want to to uh, to see how it progresses more quickly. You could probably jump right along the video and cut it down to about two minutes if you want to. So to those people, see you later. <laughs> and those of you who have a little bit more spare time, uh, yeah, you can get to see the whole process. So yeah, I'm not quite sure if, if, if you're spending big money to have a house built, whether you particularly want it to be built really fast, but um, I think I'd prefer to see some old tradesmen working really slowly building my house rather than throwing it all together really fast like this, bang, bang, bang. And as you'll see, it ended up being quite a wet day, but that didn't stop them. They're out there putting the pine frames together in the rain. So I'm not sure if I'd want wet pine frames in my new house either. But, uh, but as we've mentioned before in these videos, most houses in Japan aren't really designed to last very long uh, these days. They're built to last... Oh, 30 40 years usually uh, the valuers value them uh, from when they're they're actually finished uh, to 20 years old they deteriorate in value to 20 years old they're worth zero the actual house itself the land's still worth money of course but the house itself worth zero so just the way it works here so I'm sorry about that uh, the green screen around the house they always do that. If they're doing any work on a house, they always put the green screen around um, to stop dust and stuff disturbing the neighbours. And they come around and see all the neighbours first and tell us what they're going to do and then try and keep the disturbance down to a minimum. So very little happens around a house like that without the screen going up. So I'm sorry about that. It gets in our way a little bit, doesn't it? So, But anyway, please enjoy. Those of you who want to watch the whole 18 minutes, please enjoy it. And if you haven't seen the demolition video from uh, from before, the old house before, please uh, go and have a look at that when you finish. More videos coming up soon.
Just a 